lords and ladies, how you all doing? This is Con Over coming to you after I turn this down a little bit more. Oh, uh, with another episode of E4 Words of Man. Oh, jeez, these guys are. Uh, whatever. Decline. Okay, um, where were we last time? Well, you guys missed it, but Bohemia got themselves in two different wars. You can see the effect of that right now. Austria is just dying. Um, it's been swallowed up by both the Bohemia and the Ottomans. The Ottomans are freaking huge, man. Imagine before we get too much further, we will actually have to fight them. Um, which I do not relish that combat, as much fun as it might be. Um, I will also say that we do have some pieces down here in the south, now in Castile. Mostly because Castile is a POS, and I see absolutely no issue with me attacking them. The trans the Spice Islands, that was the objective, that's right. Um, but what do we want to do next? I kind of want to declare war on Saxony, not Saxony, excuse me, Netherlands. But the Netherlands, unfortunately, um, would be giving us a ton of aggression penalty. What I can do, though, is I can effectively go and beat on Loran. Um, and although they are allied to Ulm and the Netherlands, uh, and Saxony bring in, uh, their own particular individuals as well. We will be able to successfully, I think, take that much easier while the Netherlands is still actually trying to recover from all the other nonsense that was going on. Eh, I don't even want to throw money at that just yet. So what I will do is I'm going to quickly go and engage Laron, and with luck, check in the opinion real quick and across the world. Yeah, England might be in a, um, coalition against us pretty soon. Maybe even parts of... what you call it? What remains of the HRE, all pathetic. Like, oh wow, there's a lot of people there. Surprised. I really am surprised. Um, 23 electors, really? Sheesh. I wish I could get the Saxony to not be fighting us, but whatever. Um, what if I declared war in Burgundy? Uh, aggressive expansion, of course, great expectations. So, we can. What? Your promotion beside the merit. My army tradition is pretty darn good. I don't really want to get rid of that. I kind of like it where it is. Yeah, dude, my army tradition is fantastically awesome. Screw that. You know what? No special favors. I will be happy to gain. Local autonomy, and I will lose the prestige. I'd rather have a, a good, solid military than play favorites on that one. So England in 1699 can be our enemy again. I totally am looking forward to that, too. Hey, Madrid is now part of the true faith. Fantastic. Who else can we fabricate a claim on? I think Hampshire. We get another good place. Um, and that's exactly what we want to do. England is too busy fighting down in the south. Um, against Castile. So they're beaten on Castile, and that's great and all that, except that, you know, that means they're getting bigger and bigger in the New World. So you can see right here, all we have really left of... Never mind. Am I, am I wrong? I'm completely wrong on this. Never mind, guys. Screw that. Uh, Catalonia. Okay, cool. English Brazil. So the Castilians are fighting against... Okay. Let's stop having these noise, guys. Are fighting against the English Brazilians, and the rest of us just kind of chilling up here in the north as the Incans and Rio de Prata, i.e., the Portuguese colony, um, and here's Portugal, mind you, are expanding where they are. And I imagine soon enough we will actually start to start, start having to fight against the English and the Scots. Not looking forward to it, but I mean, it could be a heck of a lot worse, right? I think so, anyway. Um, now, I might have to demand. Um, military access. Can I intervene in their war? That'd be kind of fun. I can't, because there's already one power on both sides. It's possible to move, but it's only... Oh my gosh, where is my transport fleet? One more time. I'm trying to figure that bad boy out. Um, thanks! Oh, whatever. Um, why the heck... Oh, Sh shoot. I screwed part of this up. What I had meant to do is I had meant to go and um, separate all my heavy ships from this, but apparently my heavy ships are deciding to go along with my transport fleet as they take 19,000 men 
over to um, my single colony down here in Bankulu. And why are we in Bankulu after all? Well, we're trying to get up here to Pagurarung. I have no idea how actually that actually goes, but whatever. Because if we can get the spice, then hey, we look awesome, don't we? And when does that plane go until 1717? Yeah, we got tons of time. Shoot. So there goes half of my fleet. Really? So literally half my fleet. Um, so that's gonna be not so much fun. Especially since I want to separate an issue from these Catalonian rebels, which I guarantee you are going to happen pretty darn soon. I can't even attack um, Castile, unfortunately, because they are currently under truce with us. So I imagine what's going to happen in a bit of time is I'm probably going to have to uh, lay back and pretend to not care. Um, but I really do want to beat on the run. I should be able to do that pretty darn easily, too. And there's even no aggressive... Hmm. You know, we're going to pull the trigger on Laron, and we're going to take these two provinces and fight off whatever remains of the HRE, because they're a joke. Um, so maybe I should find out what the HRE looks like right now. Uh, blah. Political, no. Yeah, um, I kind of wish there was an HRE kind of alliance thing that I could look at, but apparently that's not going to be the case. Saxony, there we go. So, okay. Could be a heck of a lot worse. We should do pretty darn well, I would say, against that. Well, Leon changes stancing uh, in debates, so according of troops, excellent. Um, as you guys may or may not recall, we have this nonsense over here. I will bribe you. There's a frog for now ended. Um... Now what we have the, is the ability to have these national assemblies. So the chance of these things actually um, coming across means that we'll get to have these things up above. But if we fail it, um, if we fail it, my dear Mike, sir, we will have to... Uh, <sighs> we will be embarrassed. But, okay, so military leader is gone. Whatever. It's cool. Um, a lot of our buildings are almost done. Star forts go lower. Admin power, private nutrition. You know, we will give a seat to Madrid because we can, even though I don't really want to. So grant local autonomy? No. I will bribe these guys again, though, too. I'll be happy to do that. Get me more on board. Probably losing that much military power to do this either, so I'm okay with that, I suppose. And Burgundy wants to move our territories. I can't imagine why, though. Are they fighting somebody? Palatine, Memigan, and Thing. Yeah, oops. Oops, oh well. So I neglected to really go and, um, this is a perfect time, actually, to take Fonchcomta. Seattle Ravensburg and the Platinate, but Saxony is already in the war with them. Oh my gosh, this is perfect timing. Alright. Screw it. Stabbing Burgundy in the back. Ah, oh, curses. Burgundy's on a truce with us? Oh, really? 1701. Dude, that's forever. Australia. Okay, I guess the next person we're going to be fighting is... Oops, there we go. It's going to be England. Except that I have my fleet on the wrong side of the world. Okay, now three units. Put a Julian and a half men. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put all of you back over here. I can't believe I did that. How long is it gonna take for them to get here? Dear God. Well, as soon as they get back, we're going to attack the English, I think. I'm also going to pray that this rebellion in Catalonia does not proc. Yeah, Catholic Zealot, it's not gonna happen. That's cool, bro. That's cute. Alright guys, I will see you when we have the Navy back and when we're pulling the trigger against England. Well folks, we're not quite to the level of attacking England just yet, because I want to do something else real quick. We're going to go and uh, pick up 
a sigh as you're hoping to do. So, Kachow. Uh, we're gonna pick that bad boy up real quick. Uh, check out our subjects in the meantime. No one's really ready to leave us, which is great. Um, and frankly, we have more than enough to handle this. I don't see any army actually under the Gangavrung's heel here. Um, I'm kind of shocked for some reason that I can't see. Why am I not allowed to attack this fort here? Do I have to go and occupy these other things first? Curses, I turn back down here. I turn on territory, then back through again. Oh, jeez, I'm done. Alright, cool. We'll have to handle that in just a second. Oh, but for the time being, we're going to go and increase our presence here in Africa. So slaves, I don't really want to have any slaves there. Naval supplies, and then reform, that's fine with the care of that, I guess. Cool, that is now a core. Um, screw the peasants. Um, we're going to have the Catalonian separatists pretty darn soon. So, I'm going to do in the meantime, is, uh, ooh, wow, look at that. They actually have a bunch of dudes here. How shocking is that? Let us recruit actually a general. Cool. Um, and shockingly enough, they may actually defeat us because I was kind of an idiot about this. Wow, how about that? Go figure. They control the province, but not for long. I am better than them. My morale is superior. My tactics are better. And their army is going to fall before me. Like weeks before the past. I hope. What the heck, dude? Really? My morale is better. I will win. Shatter them. Jeez, we like a pure victory. It's in fact a Pyrrhic victory. Dear God. You know what? Keep after him. I want you to just slay them super, super quickly. Uh, but first, maybe we'll have one man. Oh, what the heck? Austria? What? Curses. So I had to help them against the Ottomans. Curses. So, our fight against England is going to have to wait. I'm going to accept, because I'm kind of forced to. But I wonder who else is fighting with us. So, until he's prime, Lubeck, Portugal, Siena. Really? That's all we have to work with? Dude, the Ottomans by themselves have 300,000 men. That's ridiculous. Ridiculous. Um, and what I will do actually is just keep these dudes back home and pray to God that I can go and just retake everything before they come back. Arrgh, this is so frustrating. I was going to have a perfect little assault, but nope, not anymore. Now I have to go and defend the Austrians from freaking Turks. I kind of like I want to call my allies in on this one. They're not going to come in here, I guarantee you. Yikes. At least we have a decent commander down here. And annoyingly, um, I will have to really take my own spot right back again. Oh look, I can actually attack Castile again, even though it's not going to be jackly squat good. And I'm going to deal with these dudes out of balance. So, might as well write ships down to this area and... Cool, do that there and that there. Then check back out on this, on this stupid little battle over here. Okay, so 1400 men per month, and I'm going to increase my positioning here. Uh, grant aid to them, or don't grant aid. Grant aid, I have some swimming of cash. Alright, so checking back in, back on this area of everything. Have there been any more people coming in on our side? No. You know why? Because people are dumb. And Saxony's going to get everything but Jesus shot out from under them. Venice is fighting. Oh, jeez. Um, can I hold these guys to arms? Why? Because it's a, a distant war? It's on your freaking doorstep, dude. Mountains, nice roll. Okay, so this is a perfect opportunity for us to get in there. Super, super fast. If we can get in there, this could be a big, big issue. 
the big, big positive issue for us, that is. Oh wow, we have to go through two different other stacks first. Okay, cool. It's going to be just in time, I think. Get in. Oh my gosh, really? Allies lost. Fantastic. Way to go, guys. Um, and I'm tossing in all of my men into this stinking fight because you guys are worthless and can't defend yourselves. Ah, this is so frustrating. Or technically the aggressor this one. Luckily, we have our allies coming in, and we are actually better than them in terms of fighting and all that. Daily prestige. Let's bring him on board. It's expensive. He's super expensive, and our money that was coming in like crazy is not coming in like crazy anymore. Oh wow, that defensive planner, shock damage received goes down. And yeah, we are dying like crazy to defend someone we really want to even care about. But, um, this could be a massive blow to their morale. And you know, we have better morale and better everything. Oh good. The Austrians are actually dying to these miners. Over here in the far east, let's check back on this bad boy. Um, I gotta get that stupid flame on. I gotta wait forever for them to be done building. Ugh, it's just so dumb and annoying. What ridiculous. Okay, we are slowly producing everything from them, but I can't imagine having thousands of men on Yep, 30,000 men so far. Dear God. Oh my gosh, you cowards! You gotta be freaking kidding me. I just sacrificed so many thousand men. For you. Okay, well, you know, on the plus side, we're just shelling them like crazy. But the second we have our troops in the front lines, um, it's just a sword. It's a massive swing in everything. It's 5% tax, um, exception. Let's do 5% tax. And fall back because it's ridiculous. Oh, what? Nobody lost that? Never mind. We somehow lost that. Whatever. Whatever. So, 50,000 men. Uh, we'll send you guys aid as well. Even though I don't really want to. I might as well. So, in the Ottoman thing, how many losses have we inflicted already? So, 85,000. And I've lost how many men? Defending this ridiculous nonsense? 50,000 men. 50,000. Beyond ridiculous. I gotta get back in there, too. Which is the even more annoying, dumb thing. Here they're slowly getting, gaining strength. That's fine, whatever. You know what we'll do? It's time to start combining And you guys can combine. Probably available in the old game, kidding me. Yikes. There's a lot of just random troops just kind of slowly building their strength again. So invest in an idea. So pick this up, engineer core siege ability goes up, and force modifier. Where are we on this old bad boy? You know what? Picking up another tech level of military would be a good idea, since right now they actually are higher. They're better than us. That's ridiculous. I can't believe that. Well, I mean, I can, but I, I don't want to. Yeah, the Austrians are just really making me sad right now. Frustrating, so. Have you guys to do that? Just make all my thousands and thousands of men report. Might as well leave the 43,000 up here and down here in the south. Oh, never mind. Of course, that second I move away, literally the second I move away, I gotta get back down there. On the plus side, I'll defeat that and I'll have an entire new set of people to beat on. So that'd be fun. But really, all I have to do now is take. Oh my gosh, there's so many thousands of men. I've already wasted so much money on this. Ugh. Annoying. How many do they have? 12, 20, 30,000 still. So, we're in good shape. I think we're in pretty good shape. And that's the new tech, so cool. Cut you out. 
Military tactics go up. Other nonsense goes up, and my ships are now going to shatter. Retreat! We lost two. That's fine. Could be worse. Mississippi Trade Company. Interesting. So now I have a trade company for the world. That's fantastic. And I got to down a little more to stop the real estate product. How did my men are losing so much? Yes. No leader. They have absolutely no leader. So just dice rolls and they're killing everything. There we go. Cool. We won that too. So fantastic. We have this other issue dealt with. You are almost fully trained up with everything. So another 3,000 men moving in right now. And I think it's time to move in. Cool. If we can crush one army, literally just one army, Specifically, this one right here, now that we're equal. What? Civil War. Nice. I'm okay with that. Um, checking back in the war again in the southern, southeastern area. Go up here, start being a little more um, proactive. But yeah, I don't really want to lose to the Ottomans. It's just embarrassing, man. Super embarrassing, in fact. So, Keratin has an Ottoman territory. But, we should be in... This is, this is like a Gettysburg thing, dude. Like, every single time we come in here, we just... Massive, massive amounts of casualties. Not Gettysburg, Antietam. That's not good. Now we get the dice negative effect because we are just being shattered. Oh, yes, but now we have actual troops on the line, so... We should be doing okay. And so he pours more and more thousands of men into us again and again. And I should just let Aust I really should just let Austria die here. I can't believe how many thousands of guys I'm losing this last. I hope you guys can see pretty big to the north. I'd really like to own Versailles, it'd be kinda nice. Oh, and you forty thousand men? Let's get you back up on the fray. Okay, so it's close. Whenever we have the shock, we do awesome. But then when we ever get fire, we just have water. What is this? That's why it's 524. Like 7,000. Yep, 3,000. Okay, now as long as the Austrians don't flee, we win. Of course, Seattle doesn't flee, we win. So don't run away, you shocks. This could be a massive swing in the fight. Yes! So, at the cost of nearly 50,000 men. Uh, well, first these guys are all going to have to combine because I cannot deal with this the way that it is right now. I can penetrate further and further into, into actually Austrian, excuse me, Turkish territory. Uh, split you guys in half, let's split you in half again. 45,000 men. 70,000 for the first yikes. And I kind of want to leave this other chunk right where it is. But I can't do that, I have to go and take on these armies now, too. Oh, yeah, yeah. Get in there, boys, quick before they, before they get slaughtered. That's, oh my gosh, an entire stack wipe. Don't go. Don't. Okay. They're fine. It's gonna happen. Oh, you very. 37,000 men. We'll get in the fray. Okay, cool. Well, we're doing better and better against the Soviets. So, so, Soviets, excuse me, Turks. Never mind, as we have all of our artillery goes in the front line. Jeez. Please. It'd be really, really great if we weren't losing this conflict. Ay, ay. Get down there quickly, men. Don't get overwhelmed. Get in there. there we go. Yes. Sweet. So now the Soviet. You've done it again. The Turks are slowly getting forced back. That's exactly what we need to be seeing right now, isn't it? 
Um, well, they've lost 213,000 men, but we've lost a chunk ourselves. 139,000 of our young men have gone off to die for the faith. Take the other Sense. Let's get a template here. Um, there we go. 20 infantry. It's going to cost us really not that much. There we go. 20,000 men in the line. I really don't want to do this nonsense, but I have to. Yeah, cool. Um, what? So England get, England's getting huge right now. Uh, 30,000 men there. I kind of wonder if I should just attack. Party warrior. If I attack his army, I win. Awesome. But, oh, okay, I have to totally maintain fourth there. So I gotta hop back and forth a little bit. Not perfect at all. Yeah, Castile's gonna be fighting with us for a while, but that's gonna happen. Yeah, I imagine my retreat will be back and then we will attack again. And why it is that I'm the only person fighting right now, I do not know. Who are you guys fighting with? What are you doing against the Netherlands? Alright guys, I'm gonna go and just skip ahead a bit. Oh defending an Imperialist War. Okay, I'm gonna skip ahead a bit though until we have a little bit more of a certain ending to everything. Well, folks, they continue to be fighting this stinking war for like years at a time. Um, we have been able to wrap up our little thing over with Psy, which is rather fantastic. But every single time I think I'm going to be dumping this bad boy, uh, it just keeps going and going and going. So Scotland's finally going to die too, it seems. Um, we're just barely going to eat out of victory, I think. Oh my gosh, I've got to be kidding. Her morale is .01. There we go. We've lost... 50,000 men. And frankly, our battalions are shattered beyond all belief. Alliance off from Ayutthaya. Sure, I'll take up your alliance. And if we can, we are going to go and just make peace with this nonsense, because I cannot deal with this any longer. Um, look at our look at our army supply. Our army supply has dropped like insane, insane amounts. I'm going to delete that template and make another one instead that's got 20,000 Mercenary infantry. Mercenary infantry. Two. Um, and because we're going to need that, I'm just going to throw that down here and throw it down again. And there we go. We'll have a bunch of guys coming in like there's no tomorrow. I think it's great. Conquer Kaboo or Wadjuk for absolutely no reason. Bam Wait, first. Bambook. 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 Don't tell me they're starting to attack my colonies. Because that will not be tolerated. Oh, yep, they're attacking my colonies down here. Okay, well, you know what? They don't have much in the way of troops anymore. Uh, they have, well, they have a ton of troops, but let's look where they all are. Way the heck down here. 50,000, 60,000 men down here. And now that I have a good chunk of my army supply being made up here of mercenaries. Uh, Ritress or... Okay, I guess we have to take the prestige hit at the moment. That's fine. We're going to start a debate soon enough, I imagine. 1711. Plenty of time. Nice. So, first mercenary army. Get in there. Uh, Consolidate regiments yet again. And stop start splitting these dudes up in half. So... Wow. I have a ton of artillery, don't I? Yep, I do. 20,000 there. That's the character. There we go. If we can start penetrating this, the... I keep saying Soviet, but the Ottoman front lines... will be in great shape. But the problem is getting to those Ottoman front lines. For a, yeah, our entire gold supply is going to be controlled by the Ottomans, which is a bit of an issue. Um, but if we can take some of these territories back... That is almost acceptable, then. If we can start pillaging some of these things, out of our, out the uh, wazoo also be even better.
better. Oh, yay, yay. Alright, guys, I will continue to see you in just a couple of minutes here. I've been playing this war for, like, a couple of years now. I can't even tell you how long this war's been going on. It feels like forever. I will say that the Russians and I are going to be very good friends, if I have something to say about it. It's kind of annoying to think that right now I am wasting all of my fighting strength defending someone who's been just nasty to me. And not like kind of mean. I mean like nasty to me. There we go, Varsad. There we go. Bethesda. Yeah, we're losing all of our um, African holdings. Put the gel on. That's fine. I can I can survive the loss of especially the slave trade. I don't want that anyway. Not attacking me. They had attacked me in Seville and I moved um, 40,000 mercenaries down to defend it. It was pretty freaking fantastic. Um, I'll move it over here to Serum and hopefully we can accelerate the siege a little bit. There we go. I think a fair hit in terms of um, attrition. But, but my friends, look at how, how many cannon we've got. Look at this army, how many cannon we've got. Insane amounts. We should be blowing holes in every single one of these things. Not quite yet. That's annoying. Advance the merchant class. I'll take that. Decline. And I wonder if I, can, I can't actually call curses. I can't actually get any more levies. I don't have a um, nobility any longer. What may end up happening with this guy is they may end up really sitting here and just kind of cutting this video because it's been gone for a really, really long. Oh, and while I didn't mention it before, institutions did proc, and unfortunately for me, um, it procced in Brandenburg, which means that he has an awesome ruler, and I just don't. See how long it takes? It takes a heck of a long time. I, I don't know. Universities would have been a good idea, but I didn't do that, unfortunately. Kind of a dumb plan. Peace off from the Ottomans. White peace. I wonder if I can get out of that. their territories and see how they like it. They've taken my African holdings. I am taking their Balkans. Because soon enough, we'll be able to just kind of move in and just shatter whatever he's got. There's another 40,000 men going out to the field. Don't mind me. There we go. Serum is over. Which means the next conflict is just going to be moving through. Scotland's got the Enlightenment already, too. Jeez. Or it was manufactories. Either way, it's time for us to start just shattering the, the Ottomans here. They haven't conquered it. Um, they are continually beating up on pathetic allies of mine, but, you know, it could be worse. Siege ability. Let's pick that up. Hey, Gertner's done. Bosnia's under my control as well. Great. Um, I kind of want to see how quickly we can go and take some of these fortresses out. So, the 1st of December, we're going to get there in the 7th of December. They will rue the day that happens. And what do I have to take? Oh, Dalmatia. Got it. Um, our siege ability is pretty stinking awesome, though. We start at 7%. Now, considering how much artillery we've got going on here, that's not surprising. And the more we get close enough to this, the better we'll be. We have the best offers, that is definitely true. Um, and we're not quite there yet, so 10 war score. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, bottom would be better off part of us, but I won't force the issue at the moment. Mostly because I can't, I can't really afford to do so. But it's time to bring in more troops to start raping the Ottoman countryside. Not the Soviets, the Ottomans. Hey, cool, we're finally starting to gain men, people, uh, men again people. Um, soldiers, we are finally gaining them again. Uh, so, guys, we might actually get to see the end of this war after all. I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm cautiously optimistic. Very cautiously optimistic. So, we'll see how that goes. So, we're going to jump forward again, guys. I'll see you in a few minutes.
Okay, this frosts me a little bit. I'm slowing this down for a second. So, Austria got a piece out of it. And they paid a mere 680 ducats to Austria and its allies. I get a ton of that, but you gotta be freaking kidding me. Oh, screw this. Whatever. We're just gonna get this done. Palatinate, you're fine. Like, I don't really want to do this, but I might as well. Okay, guys. Well, this was a bloody shambles. I wanted to have my own attack into England, but since right now my armies are shattered and all I really have are just bunches and bunches and bunches of mercenaries, what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut this video here. When we come back next time, I will take out and wreak my vengeance on somebody else. I'm going to finish up this war in the meantime, handle this whole platinum business, and then we are going to uh, probably just spend some time getting our armies back in order. So I'll see you guys all soon. Thanks so much for tuning in. I wish I could have shown you an attack into Kent. Uh, but that's not going to happen. On the plus side, we still have another 15 years on that one, too. Oh, well. Uh, thanks so much for tuning in, guys. I'll see you all next time. This is Connor. We're signing off. Take it easy.